This is PTR, People's Tribune Radio. We the people demand a humane society. Listen to our voice. We the people! We the people demand! We the people! We the people demand! We the people! Make your demands known in our common interests. People's Tribune Radio is brought to you by People's Tribune Newspaper, a monthly published in Chicago. Today's program is the cover story of our October-November issue. Please listen. The people demand a humane society. America, indeed the entire world, is in crisis. Since World War II, Developments in technology have revolutionized how we produce the necessities of life. Electronic production is rapidly eliminating human labor in all sections of the economy. This fundamental change in the economy is causing a political crisis. How will the ruling class control us when our labor is no longer needed? 95 million of us in the United States and millions worldwide find ourselves driven out of the labor market, working part-time for minimum wage or below, or as contingent labor. The burning question for us, the workers, is how do we eat, secure housing, get an education, health care, and even the most basic of human needs, water, if we have no money to buy it. In response, many of us are turning to the electoral arena, asking where is the party that will address our needs, that guarantees our future and the future of our children. Our very survival is at stake. As laborless production accelerates, the market for commodities shrinks. Jobs disappear as capitalists compete to corner the market by employing even more robots and computers to cut costs and increase profits. The result is deepening misery for us in the midst of abundance of the necessities of life. We are at a fork in the road. The corporations need the government to protect their interests. They are doing this by privatizing public schools and services, transferring social welfare to corporate welfare. You only need to look at Michigan, where elected officials are replaced by emergency manager dictatorships, corporate-sponsored legislation, which allows the transfer of our public resources, like water and public schools, to private corporations. The worsening conditions, however, are causing we the people to unite around our common interests for survival, whether it be for water as a human right, in defense of democracy, against the rampant police killings, against voter disenfranchisement, or the draconian anti-homeless laws, we the people are showing our humanity and demanding a humane society, and government that intervenes on our behalf to make that happen. We are breaking with two corporate parties and beginning to set an independent course by putting forward our demands that everyone has a right to fulfilling life, free of police terror. We are utilizing the electoral process to raise our demands. It is crucial now to build on the unity developing around our common needs. Throughout the country, concerned people are joining third parties, raising demands within the traditional parties, and forming groups to discuss the next step. Whatever we are, we must put forth a program demanding that the government use social wealth that we have created over generations to secure the future for us and our future generations. We must call for the government to take over and run in our interests the corporations that we, the people, need to satisfy our human needs. We must reject the ruling class solution of fascism and war for us while they continue to live with privilege at our expense. 
This is the first step in creating a just and peaceful society where our children and theirs can survive and thrive in peace. Contact the People's Tribune at www.peoplestribune.org or call 1-800-691-6888. The only solution to our problems is a cooperative society where the needs of all the people are met. Subscribe to the People's Tribune and order copies to share with your friends. Donate at peoplestribune.org. We need your support to continue telling the truth. Find PTR, People's Tribune Radio, at iTunes and YouTube, and subscribe. People's Tribune pages are open to you. Tell us your story. Let's discuss the steps we can take now to get to that new society. Find out how people are fighting forward with a vision.